Okay, this is our second example of interpreting inverse function notation. So in this example, uh, we're told that the distance d, uh, measured in centimeters, uh, that a spring stretches uh, is a function of the weight uh, x, uh, measured in pounds, that's attached uh, to the spring. And um, when this um, statement is expressed in uh, function notation, uh, that um, um, appears as the equation d equals uh, s of x. So for the function s, uh, x is the um, weight attached to the spring and uh, the output d uh, is the distance uh, that the spring stretches. But now what we want to do in this problem is interpret uh, the expression s inverse of 3 is equal to 5. So we want to interpret uh, inverse function notation. So again, recall uh, that um, one way of thinking of an inverse function is that it uh, reverses or interchanges the input and the output quantity uh, for a function. So uh, in this uh, expression, in this equation, uh, the input quantity is going to be uh, the distance that the spring is stretched, and the output quantity is going to be the weight attached to the spring. So that's just the opposite of the function s, where again the input quantity is the weight attached to the spring and the output quantity is the distance that the spring stretches. So what this equation is telling us is that um, when the spring uh, stretches three inches, uh, five uh, pounds uh, is attached to it. So we can simply write uh, that statement down as the interpretation of this um, uh, inverse function uh, notation. So uh, the spring uh, stretches three centimeters uh, when uh, five pounds is attached to it. And there's our uh, interpretation of the inverse function notation.